Hey guys and welcome to April's Bin Fodder video and I have finished 16 products Yes I did No little happy dance and um five of them are finished makeup items one of one is a, a throwing away makeup item and the rest is like skincare and bath and um Contacts. I finished another box of contacts. It takes me freaking ages to go through a box of contacts, so it's it's an incredible feat when I do because I only wear them on weekends and they come in a pack of thirty. So um, fifteen sets because both my eyes are the same. So um, yeah, so fifteen weeks. Well, we'll go we'll go with six, seven weeks worth of contacts in a box so it takes me seven weeks to go through a box basically um i finished up a bottle of a nail polish remover i just use the boots essential it's really cheap pick it up when i'm in the cute boots um i forever stock up on them i think it's a pound a bottle super cheap it's, works it works it's nail polish remover, it works. I will always repurchase it. Um, yes. Um, some hair bits. I finished another can of Batiste. This is the original Clean and Classic. And this is kind of like a lemony fresh scent. I actually quite like it. Um, out of all the scents that I've tried from Batiste, I like the blush scent the best. This one, I could I could use it. It's not a favourite, but um, I prefer over the tropical because the tropical just smells like Malibu. And um, I wish they'd bring back the boho scent. I love that one. It was like in an orange can. That one was my all-time favourite before the blush. Um, I finished a bottle of Argan Magic um, multi-purpose treatment oil. And I use this as a kind of hair treatment. It's like eight pounds from TK Maxx for just over 100 ml, so it's cheap, it's cheerful, it's effective. And um, I already repurchased it. I think this might be the second bottle, and I'm on my third one. I love this stuff a lot. Um, Pantene Classic Clarifying Shampoo. I love this stuff, but I don't think they make it anymore. So, yeah. Sad, sad times. Uh, Herbal Essence Essences. Be Strong Strengthening Intensive Mask. And this stuff was luscious. I'm sure this is the one that Nicole Scherzinger. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Scherzinger. I'm sure this is the line that she was advertising. Um, but I really like it. It's a really kind of thick, kind of um, putty, almost like a liquidy putty. And I just kind of slather it all over my hair and I'd leave it in for like half an hour. And my hair would be all like really, really soft and flowy afterwards. I love it. I would highly recommend it and I would definitely repurchase it because my hair is getting so long. Like, seriously, my hair is like touching my ribs now. Longest parts are down to my ribs. Yep. I'm getting mermaid hair. Check those roots. Holy Jesus. I need to do something about that. I need to buffer that line somehow. I'll think of something. Anyways, um, a couple of bath care products. Um, uh, bath care is that a thing? And um, the Bayless and Harding Wild Rose and Raspberry Leaf Sensuous Bath Foam. This stuff is really nice. It strongly smells of roses. If you like Stella by Stella McCartney, um. I'd recommend this. Um, it, it's more of a rose scent than a raspberry scent. I really, 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 really enjoy it. And I also have another bottle of it that I'm already going through. And then we have a Champneys, a Champneys, 
Balm, Spa Indulgent Distant Shores Body Scrub. Um, the scent of this is divine. I have a bubble bath in the scent that I need to go through. It's kind of like passion fruit and um, do we have a... Ooh, we have a scent description! No we don't, do we? No, it just says um, grapefruit, lemon and orange peel oils. Mango extract. Oh yeah, passion fruit extract. Yeah, it's bang on with passion fruit. Um, but yeah, it just says uh, passion fruit, mango extracts and citrus oils. Um, so it's a very kind of tropical-y spa-like scent. I enjoyed it as like a body wash, as a scrub. It was pretty crap. Um, I don't even know what it uses as an exfoliant. Um, sea salt. It's a sea salt scrub and it is the most unabrasive sea salt scrub I have ever used in my life. I wouldn't recommend it. It was free anyway, I didn't really buy it. So, um, no loss there. But still, I would recommend like a body wash or a roll bath or body lotion, just not the body scrub. Gorgeous scent. I have a couple of skincare bits. Um, a L'Oreal um, Skin Perfecting Micellar Solution. Um, I have one more bottle of this to go through and then I will not repurchase this. It was nice enough. I just felt like I needed to really work to get my makeup off. Um, I used to really love this, I used to think it was amazing and compared to other cleansers like makeup removers that I have used this is really good but compared to the Garnier Micellar Solution which I'm not going to go across to get because I'm just that lazy um, but compared to the Garnier one this is a bit meh and it's the Garnier one is twice the amount of product for the same price and um, yeah Oh well. It is good. It's not crap, but I've found something better. And then we have the Rock Hydra Plus Anti Fatigue Rich Lotion, which I can't repurchase even though I really want to because it was discontinued and um, I knew that when I bought it because I bought it from Clearance Bin. Yep. But from this I have learned that I can use a richer lotion during the day, which I do do now quite often and I enjoy the results immensely. So if you have this lurking in your cupboard or if you stumble across it in a clearance bin I would recommend it. And then we get onto the makeup portion. I'm sorry. I need to stop with accents and stuff, it's really bad. Um, first thing that's being thrown away, I've already spoken about this, is the Murad Dewy Skin Primer. Um, it kind of oxidises really bad and I think has like clogged pores and made me break out. Um, it was just a little sample from like a glossy box ages ago. Um, but yeah, if it didn't oxidise, I'm sure I would love it more. The Bourjois. Happy Light Matte Serum Primer. I really like this. I pretty much scraped out as much of this as I could. Um, probably wouldn't repurchase it. I have other mattifying primers that I like better than this. I felt like I went through this really, really fast. Um, it took maybe a month and a half to use this whole thing and, you know, Things like my gosh velvet touch, they can this can take me like six months to use. So I just kind of feel like, you know. They're about the same price as well. They're about ten pounds I believe. Um so yeah, um probably won't be purchased this one, although it is really nice. Um concealer that I finished, the bare minerals stroke of light is an eye brightener, it's not really like a concealer, it's more of a corrective kind of thing. It has like a, a kind of orangey salmon-y tint to it and it kind of brightens up blueness. Enjoyed it. Might repurchase. Maybe possibly. Maybe possibly. I'm not too sure because this thing is like £22. Um, it's around the same price as Touche Claire and you get like twice as much product in it. But 
Touche Magic from L'Oreal is like $8.99 and does the exact same job. So yeah, another primer is the Smashbox Photo Ready, no, Smashbox Photo Finish Light Primer. I really like this. I may purchase in the future, possibly. This was just a little sample size, just like a half size. We'll see, possibly in the future. I did really enjoy it. The Rimmel Cloak Gel Pencil, I don't even know if you'll be able to see that, it just kind of... Once you get this far, there is no more pencil. It just kind of falls out as you sharpen it, so... I used that to death. <laughs> and lastly is a powder, and this is the same at Pink Blossom. All gone! Yeah! So those are all my empties. I'm super super excited. I've now finished 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 makeup items. I've finished 12 makeup items. How freaking awesome is that? So what's that like 88 more to go? Yeah. 88 products in 8 months. I think I can do that. <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you've uploaded an empties video recently and I will go watch it because I love watching empties videos. They're quite motivating and um, I like finding out what people think of products when they finish them. And I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching and bye bye.